Tonight we shall meditate on a blessing that the Lord Jesus is eager to give us that is found in Psalms 5 verse 12. Psalms chapter 5 verse 12. It says, For you, O Lord, will bless the righteous. With favor you will surround him as with a shield. You will bless the righteous and with favor you will surround him um, as with a shield. Beloved, you are being surrounded as a shield. And what's that shield? That's the favor of God. And if you uh, say, who is this righteous? Those who have accepted Jesus in their hearts. Saying, asking, praying, Jesus, wash me with your blood. Make me your child. They have become righteousness of God. And God considers them righteous. And you are being surrounded with favor. Hallelujah. What a joy. Probably tonight you might be thinking, I don't have vasta in this country. Where there is so much necessity, everywhere I go, I see so many influential people, highly qualified people. I don't have the experience. I don't have the expertise. I don't have the talent. I don't have the finances. How can I rise up in my job, in my social status, in my influence? How can I be raised up? There is good news. The Lord Jesus Christ is willing to grant us his favor. If we read in the Old Testament, Exodus chapter 8, there we, uh, there we will see Exodus chapter 11, Exodus chapter 11, verse 3. And the Lord gave the people favor in the sight of Egyptians. Moreover, the man Moses was very great in the land of Egypt in the sight of Pharaoh's servant and in the sight of the people. Beloved, the Lord gave the people favor in the sight of Egyptians. Beloved, if we read in the Bible, who were these Egyptians? They were the rulers like we are living in Kuwait. We are working here like the ourselves, these Israelites, the children of God were slaves. But if we read second verse, same chapter, Exodus chapter 11 verse 2. There it is written, Speak now in the hearing of the people. Let every man ask from his neighbor and every woman from her neighbor articles of silver, articles of gold. Can you imagine? Slave people asking their masters, their rulers, give me this article of silver, article of gold. That must be very valuable, very uh, precious, very pricey, isn't it? But what a God we have that the Lord granted them favor. You can imagine so many people are working here as servants, as maids in Khadim Visa. If they ask for a holiday, if they ask for an increment, if they ask for, oh, the small 1KD, 5KD, their owners, their sponsors deny him. They are not favorable, most of the cases. But thank God, the Egyptians were the rulers and these children of God were serving them as a slave. But the Lord granted them favor. They borrowed the articles of gold, articles of silver. Praise God. And what did the Lord did? Psalms 105 verse 37 beautifully explained what did the Lord Almighty, the one who grants favor, the one who shields you with his favor did. Psalms 105 verse 37. He also brought them with silver and gold. And there was none feeble among his tribe. Praise God. He brought them with silver and gold. Beloved, tonight also, 
the Lord will bless you. If you are lacking finances, if you are facing financial difficulties, you don't have money, remember the Lord who has brought you here in Kuwait will, hallelujah, will, oh, bless you and you will have silver. You will have gold because what he did for his children so many thousands of years ago, he is still same because our God is real. He is alive and he is unchanging God. His power, his love is unchanging. And we have read this verse, there was none feeble among his uh, tribe. There were, if you read in Numbers chapter uh, 1 verse, and in other verses if you read, there were 600, 600,350 men were there. And if we count their families, their wives, children, there must be 20, 25 lakhs of people. And such a big crowd, the Lord made them to inherit the silver and gold and there was none feeble no one was weak while they were traveling through wilderness we become weak beloved in this season in this cold so many people get oh sick due to asthma due to headache due to sinus problem but praise god these children of god were traveling through the wilderness and there was cold there was hot sun was there but the lord provided them good health a good health to them psalm 78 verse 25 says what did the lord grant them so that they can be strong psalm 78 verse 25 says men ate angels food he sent them food to the full in the wilderness, there were no crops, there was no harvest, where they were, they were not having much finances to purchase. The Lord was providing them manna, and that was angels' food. That's why angels are strong. Angels live forever because they eat the God's prepared food. God in his love, in his compassion gave his children who were slaves, who were journeying through the wilderness. Probably tonight also you might be coming here in the church with a lot of sacrifice from your work. Hectic work. Remember, the Lord wants to strengthen you. The Lord wants to empower you and he wants to make a difference. Hallelujah! Between the one who serves God and between who doesn't serve God. Hallelujah. There will be a difference if we read Malachi chapter 3 verse 17 and 18. Malachi chapter 3 verse 17 and 18 says, They shall be mine, says the Lord of hosts. On the day I will make them my jewels, and I will spare them as a man spares his own son who serves him. Then you shall again discern between the righteous and the wicked. The one who serves God and one who does not serve Him. There will be a difference. There will be a difference. You, my brother, my sister, you have spared your precious time to come in the church to worship the living, loving Jesus. There will be a difference. There will be a difference. Those who don't go to the church. Don't, those who don't pray, there will be a difference. Recently I read a news and it broke my heart. It was titled, A Man Committed Suicide Due to the Pain in His Teeth. He was suffering from teeth pain and he couldn't suffer those, that excruciating teeth pain. And he committed suicide beloved we have a hope if we are suffering with pain when pain comes oh when head is paining when back is paining when your teeth is paining you know someone was punched on his cheeks his name is Jesus he was punched by 600 soldiers 
he was spat upon his beard was plucked why why to experience our pain so that when we experience of the back pain headache we can remember lord you have gone through my head pain you have gone through my tooth pain because you suffered punches on your face when people slapped you when people plucked the beard from your face the pain experience be experienced by jesus he will be moved with compassion for you and he will touch you he will remove the pain all the pain will go your back pain problem your headache your sinus your asthma because jesus suffered breathlessness when you say i am suffering with asthma i am not able to breathe properly i am suffering with sinus problem i am suffering with headache problem jesus understands because on the cross he was nailed both his hands were nailed his legs were nailed and he was not able to breathe properly that's why if you have you have seen the passion of christ uh, uh, movie there in the last when the other two thieves were about to be they were not they was crucified and the soldiers broke their legs just to make them so that they can not raise themselves up to take the breath to take breath if you are suffering with breathing problem my brother my sister there is hope jesus experienced that breathlessness on the cross of calvary for you for you for everyone who is suffering if you are suffering with sinus problems or in this winter season my cough get deposited in my head i suffer so much headache remember jesus was crowned with thorns so crown of thorns bible scholar says there were 373 thorns on that crown of thorns and it was pierced upon the head of jesus if single pin touches pinches in our hands in our face how much pain it happens we experience jesus experience so excruciating pain why for you for you for you for every one of you for you and me he experienced pain so that we can be healed i was a patient of sinus in winter season it was very difficult in my childhood every winter season i will suffer when i am going to the school when i am going to the college my head will start paining the cough will get deposited and once it was so paining i was vomiting and headache i was not able to concentrate in my school and my parents took me to the doctor and doctor said the cuff has deposited here and it has to be operated it can be fatal also because during that operation something can happen because it's in a very uh, important place and i was so scared but thank god years after years i used to suffer but after accepting jesus that sinus problem has not occurred hallelujah jesus has oh hallelujah borne my sinus problem praise god probably brother probably sister if you are suffering with some sufferings remember the sufferings of jesus for you and he will make a difference between you who are coming to the church and between the others if you read exodus chapter 8 verse 22 says exodus chapter 8 verse 22 says and in that day i will set apart the land of goshen in which my people dwell that no swarms of flies shall be there in order that you may know that i am the lord in the midst of the land hallelujah 
when the lord brought the plagues in the land of egypt he made a difference between his children and the other people who were not his children when he brought the plague of flies the flies were not in the land where the, his children dwelt if we read exodus chapter 9 verse 4 exodus chapter 9 verse 4 says and the lord will make a difference between the livestock of israel and the livestock of egypt so nothing shall die of that belongs to the children of israel economy may be going down people may be losing jobs people may be struggling but you will survive through the favor of jesus through the difference that jesus christ makes hallelujah between his children the one who serves him and the one who does not serves him all the livestock of the egyptian people were dying but the praise god the livestock of his children were not dying hallelujah he will make a difference beloved cheer up and in another plague that the lord sent to prove his might it's found in exodus chapter 9 verse 23 exodus chapter 9 verse 23 says they did not see one another nor did anyone rise from his place for 3 days but all the children of israel had light in their dwellings praise god when egyptians were having darkness his children were having that's the difference that's the favor hallelujah what a glorious god we serve beloved you might be thinking how can I have this kind of favor how can i have this kind of oh difference the lord jesus is willing to grant you the difference psalms 91 psalms 91 hallelujah thank you jesus verse 7 says Psalms 91 verse 7 say a thousand may fall at your side and 10000 at your right hand but it shall not come near you hallelujah a thousand may fall at your side and 10000 at your right hand but it shall not come to you beloved this was i had experienced during this winter season i can't forget i was in uh, kuwait it was my first year and i was staying in uh rigai that side with another uh, my room partner was there his name was pille and he uh, his elder brother was there he was a project manager in one of the company he was staying in third floor and in the ground floor i was sharing my room with him his room was there so i was his room partner and during this january december january month he got suddenly measles you know measles the boils appears and it's a contagious disease it spreads very fast and my bed was here and his bed was there in the same room and uh, uh, when i got to know oh, his whole body the boils have come out i got scared oh it's contagious disease i will also get and this is january december month and winter is very hard for me to face and if i get sick if i get this measles i am alone who will help me his brother was there his brother family was there they used to bring food he used to go there and eat and then come back like that but i don't have anybody who will help me if i get i used to pray and every morning i used to wake up i used to realize there is some burning sensation in my skin i used to feel oh boils are coming but i used to pray jesus you alone can save me you alone can save me i don't have anybody he has his brother to minister to him to serve him or oh, food another take care of him if i get sick if i get measles 20 25 days you can't be 
okay to go to the office, to go to do, to eat and so on you will be, or suffering. You please save me, Lord. Every morning the same sensation will come. Every morning I will woke up and I will see my skin, whether there's boils have come or not. Praise God. Five days gone, ten days gone, fifteen days gone. Hallelujah. Twenty days gone. I, by Jesus' grace, the measles didn't come. But this, my room partner, Pille, his uh, brother was staying in the third floor. So he used to go for food, taking food and so on. So his brother's daughter got the measles. See the difference. The Lord can make you a difference. Hallelujah! He can make a difference. If everybody is finding difficult, you will, oh, have overcome. If everybody is suffering, you will have joy because you know my sufferings are for some times. My deliverer is alive. My redeemer is alive who will bring me out from the, oh, my suffering, beloved. I always love to inspire you, encourage you with some living testimonies whenever I'm uh, giving the message the testimonies, proofs, hallelujah, that Jesus Christ is alive. I want to share one uh, uh, folder that was, yeah, about this person I would like to tell. You can see by pictures which the brother will, with the Prime Minister please, uh, yeah. This one brother is there, uh, brother DJ Pandey and I have been uh, telling about him. Is with uh, Dr. Abdul late uh, Kalam. Yeah, next picture. Yeah. Yes. Just see the pictures. With uh, Prime Minister Modi. Yeah. Both uh, Abdul uh, back back. Yeah. B both uh, late President Abdul Kalam and Narendra Modi is there. They are so happy to meet. <laughs> And this is the um, present uh, Chief Minister of Gujarat. He's coming in the television news. He's with Dhiru, uh, this uh, Mukesh Ammani, India's richest, one of the richest person. With Ambani, Mukesh Ammani. Amen. Just stop it. I would like to tell about him. Hallelujah. If those who are people who are new. He was born in a very poor family. His father was a very poor teacher. He didn't have slipper while he was studying. He did his Bachelor of Arts. He, could, uh, he couldn't have the money for paying fees in the engineering college. But the Lord, he used to come to the church walking five kilometers just to save one rupee. Otherwise, if he takes bus, the bus ticket will cost one rupee. But he used to pray, Lord, I am poor. I don't have money. I don't want to go empty-handed in the church. I will walk five kilometers in the hot, in the cold, in the rainy season, but I will give that one rupee. Hallelujah. And the Lord blessed him. Hallelujah. You might be thinking, oh, he's not from He's, uh, he's in Gujarat. You can imagine. He's not a Gujarati man. He's not of their caste. He's not of their creed. He's not of their religion. Hallelujah. But praise God. The favor of God is there. Favor of God is there. Hallelujah. He can make a man, his child, to stand, to have acquaintance with the top shots. We have a Bible, beloved. That is a living book. Hallelujah. It's not a story book. It's not a history book. It's a living book. His word is true. Hallelujah. He grants favor. It's his favor. There are other IAS officers also of the same caste, same religion. But the Lord has granted him 
favor he be had become chief secretary superseding seven senior is officers how it can be possible because of jesus ambani his wife runs a, a school for the orphan children for the slum areas children and ambani gives money donates money for that school and from this side in the secular side this is the one now he is a founding father he has his own church in gandhinagar gujarat that's the capital of gujarat some pictures of a uh, church his church he is the founding father of the church that's called green city bible church is that brother yeah hallelujah praise god praise god in the city of gujarat oh hallelujah gandhinagar he is having a church hallelujah praise god and he is having a clinic also for offering free medical service to the patient recently and moreover around 20 30 students are studying the bible college he has opened a bible college also praise god he and his wife are sitting praise god hallelujah thank you jesus the lord can do you you might be thinking i am a small man i am a, um, i don't have influence i don't come from highly influential family don't worry brother the bible gives everyone you and i need that favor isn't it and the bible gives a very beautiful reply to our questions how we can get the favor if that brother got the favor although he is not a of from the same caste same religion same state but how he was granted favor god of joseph is alive god of daniel is alive when they were granted privilege by the kings they were hidden kings they were not of their religion they were not of their country but still the lord granted them favor if we read what's the secret for receiving this favor proverbs chapter 3 verse 3 and 4 says proverbs chapter 3 verse 3 and 4 beloved for you and me it's very important we all need favor in this world to shine amidst all the competition among so many people so much tough competition might be there but we need this favor how we can receive proverbs chapter 3 verse 3 and 4 says let not mercy and truth forsake you bind them around your neck write them on the tablet of your heart and so you will find favor and high esteem in the sight of god and man the lord is giving the keys for getting the favor how let not mercy and truth forsake you beloved this brother of his mercy i will just like to narrate some things i was attending the church which he is a founding father once a brother came from singapore and uh, he told my name is mr kamal raj johnson i am a uh, owner of a uh, company and in india he is he is having a factory and so many crores of turnover is there so i was very surprised and shocked because very very few people will have christian believers people will have a company of or, of their own so i was very much interested i asked him uh, then he during his message he shared i was a vice president of some bank private bank and ahmedabad and during that time i granted much loans i was a very you know a dynamic person so those loans got defaulted and i had was suspended and i was going through a very critical very oh tormenting time and this brother pandian helped me he gave me money i didn't have money even to make phone calls that brother mercy 
Bible says Proverbs chapter 3 verse 3 and 4 mercy if we show mercy to others those poor people those needy people he helped and now that brother he said now I am having an industry of my own of my my own company is there and I am grateful because when I was alone when I was in dire need that brother helped me praise God we have also the opportunities to have acts of mercy. We can help other people. I can't forget when my parents had come and I was in a very difficult situation. Finances, struggling with finances and other problems. And my mother had to go back, return. And the flight was 12.30 in the night. I was wondering... If I, what to do, how to reach 12.30 in the night, if I take a taxi, he will charge much, much money. And I don't want to ask for help. It's not my nature. Whatever suffering, whatever lack I have, I will suffer of my own. I will tell Jesus, you help me. I don't disclose to anyone. I didn't tell anyone. And this I was very much puzzled what I will do 12.30 is her flight if I take taxi it will charge because we have to wait till the all those scanning and everything is there so that if excess luggage is there she can give us and we have to return back and I didn't have much finances also that time and I remember while we were going. One brother out of blue, he asked, Mom, how you will go, Auntie? How you will go? We said, uh, we will uh, take some taxi or by bus we will go. We will, I was thinking, okay, by bus I will go. Uh, maybe uh, last bus or uh, I will take 8.30 uh, some uh, bus and I will reach in the uh, airport. But there is no direct service from here going to the airport. So we have to change and being having luggage, it's very difficult. I was thinking, what to do? But there is someone who understands, who knows our pain, who knows our needs. He made that brother to ask, out of blue, we didn't tell, I didn't tell. He asked, how you will go, auntie? We said, uh, we will go by bus or taxi, we don't know, uh, we have to. He said, don't worry, even though he was not having a car of his own, he said, I will arrange someone. And he called me that night and he said, don't worry, brother. What time your mother flight is there? 12.30? Okay, we will come. I will ask my friend to bring his car and we will take. By 10 o'clock, we will reach your house. Thank God. He came and after the flight had gone at uh, 1 o'clock, he dropped us. Praise God. That's the acts of mercy. Beloved brother, beloved sister, we are in church. We know the people suffering. If we act like works of kindness, works of mercy, there can be many ways. Just an encouragement also. By words, you can encourage people. By acts of mercy, you can. The Lord will surely remember you. And that brother is blessed. Hallelujah. Tonight, hallelujah, the favor of God that brother DJ Pandian received, sitting with Dhiru, with Mukesh Ambani, with the Prime Minister, with the Abdul Kalam President, you too can receive. Because Bible promises, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 3 and 4, let not mercy and truth forsake you. Be merciful. Bible says, Matthew chapter 5, verse 7, blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. Hallelujah. You will receive mercy. Shall we stand? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Shall we sing this song? Every one of us need favor in this world to shine. And the Lord promises, with favor I will surround him. 
with his shield. Thank you, Jesus. We need our hearts full of love and full of mercy so that we can be merciful to the needy people, to the suffering people, to the poor people. We will sing this song as a prayer and asking Jesus, make me more like you. Make me more like you. My heart is not filled with love. My heart is not filled with mercy. You fill my heart with love and mercy so that I may receive the favor of God. Make me more like thee. Oh Jesus, make me more like thee. Give me a heart with love and make me more like thee make me more like thee everyone sing yes Come before you, throne of grace and mercy. Fill our hearts with love and mercy, Lord, so that we may receive favor. We may receive favor in this world, which is much needed to rise up, to shine, Lord, in this world. Thank you, Jesus. We surrender ourselves into your loving hands. In Jesus' name, Amen. Final benediction, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of our Father and fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. God bless you. A very pleasant evening to you all.